of the grand challenges of our time is being resilient to climate change. And this affects heritage properties, as well as all types of infrastructure and buildings. In the aftermath of Hurricane Harvey, I was thinking about how we could have a, an impact across a variety of communities in the Gulf Coast region, the communities that were impacted and, and hurt badly by Hurricane Harvey. I considered sacred places, historic houses of worship, because they're community icons and they're places where people come together. And most significantly, they're places that are already helping their communities in the aftermath of disasters. We were able to get a grant uh, from the Texas Historical Commission with federal money uh, that came through the Department of the Interior National Park Service that was part of the disaster relief program uh, for the, the hurricane relief. The staff at the Texas Historical Commission had the foresight to realize that some of the money uh, could be well spent on planning for the future. Uh, we were working specifically in three counties in Texas and the county uh, preservation entities there, the Galveston Historical Foundation, Victoria Preservation, and Preservation Houston were key allies for us. The innovation of this project was in the approach, in the application of uh, thinking uh, and understanding resilience and the capacity of places to rebound and recover and applying it into historic preservation context, working specifically with historic houses of worship. We did use available technology. We used thermal imaging cameras, tablets to record our information. We used drones to look at the, the roofs of buildings. Uh, we did soil analysis in the laboratory. We had engineers do finite element analysis to model the performance of the buildings in high wind. We wanted our information to be accessible and we wanted to design our resilience tools so that it addressed issues of accessibility for people who are using the buildings. This capacity to survive and recover is very important for heritage buildings because it's our identity. This is who we are in rural communities and cities and, and people want to keep their heritage, keep their identity as they recover and, and rebound and come back from natural disasters. What we've set up, our toolkit, uh, that's just sort of a resilience roadmap and then within it, we explain how to do vulnerability assessments rapidly and with a focus on specific issues of heritage buildings. And then we also have a score sheet, which is a resilient performance indicator. We in the field of historic preservation have a unique vantage point. We look at a window of time that goes back into the past, sometimes centuries. And we're trying to think ahead into the future to keep track of the decisions we're making now and how they're gonna help people tomorrow and in generations to come.